هاي مستر عامر ستارت ناو يا اوكي سو سو وي ويل ستارت توداي فروم او اس اي موديل اوكي وي ويل ليرن اباوت او اس اي لير so we have talked about a bit last week uh, you know about uh, about communication model how the communication happen in in between computer when they are over the network and we talk about why osi made model came in the picture okay so let's let's dis discuss about all the layer of osi model okay and let's let's talk about uh, you know uh, function of these layers okay so we will discuss about all these things so before before going to uh, you know osi model let me just quickly recap why osi model is important okay so today we are going to understand osi model in detail okay so as i discussed on last week that uh, what is the uh, what is the use of osi model okay so we discuss about osi model that um, two computer want to talk to each other so it is necessary that they should be able to understand the communication means their communication language or communication standard should be same so earlier before the osi model there was arpanet okay i mean networking started from this arpanet okay so arpanet was working for dot uh, department of defense us and then they designed a computer network okay and they started sharing the file or uh, sending the communication from one computer to another computer So when arpanet was there so there was you know there was some necessary requirement okay in order to computer communicate to each other okay there was some certain requirement the requirement was the computer be from same company they should have a operating system okay so to avoid this redundancy okay osi came in the picture before the osi you know there was huge dependency you want to connect a computer over the network so you you should think about their hardware and their software they sh should be matching hardware and software matching on a both computer or whatever the computer would be part of you know uh, you know network so their hardware and software should match it so, came in picture stands for international organization for standardization so also came in the picture and they have decided that why don't make the communication standard and those communication standards should be common to all the network devices for computer for whatever the devices is, is participating on the network they thought that communication should be standard communication and that's why they they came with the concept of osi and system interconnect osi is an open system interconnect so in this osi okay, basically this this the project is started in 1970 so in this osi there are seven standard of the communication okay we will talk about them osi is nothing but this is this is the standard this this osi define the standard communication between two computer or whatever networking by participating over the network so their communication standard should be common that they all are speaking common language so that the communication can happen so let us there are two computer this computer and this the other computer and they just want send the data to each other so data is how the data is going data is just following those two standard okay so what are those those seven standards so they those seven standards 
is uh, known as a OLI layer. Okay. So basically, we have same layer, for example, application. These are the OLI layer, application, presentation. Sensation, then transport, you have a network layer, and you have dating, and finally physical layer. So these are the same one layer. Okay, same things. Other computers also uh, should be also following these standards. So other computer would have also those same layers. Application, presentation. presentation. transport detailing and physical so there nothing but here what is OSI layer so here we are talking about OSI this is not the Stand for uh, it stands for Open System Interconnect, and this this side is defining the networking standard. That when one computer want to send the data to another computer, so how data transfer would be happen? That's what we define. So as I told you, this is one computer. Let's say this computer computer number want to send data. To computer number B. Okay. So this is this is not sending directly, this is sending through these layer. So first of all, your data would go to application layer. Application layer is going to perform its own function. We will talk about what is function of the application. Application would go to presentation, then data would move layer, then transport, then network layer, then layer, and then physical layer from physical layer. It is going through the wire to the other computer, and then data would go to physical layer, then data link layer, then network layer, then transport, then session, then present. All right, so I was talking about, you know, uh, networking. So I was talking about OSI model. So in OSI model, as I told you, there are seven layer. And whenever any computer is sending the communication to another computer, let's say this computer want to send hi to this computer. So it's not going to directly, it is going to OSI layer, all, all the layer of OSI model. It is going to OSI layer, okay, which would be inbuilt into the operating system, okay. And post this, this is going to another computer and another computer OSI layer also work over here. So now you know both computer are speaking common language and that's why this high can be understand by another computer. Let's say this is A computer and this is B computer. So if com A computer want to send any data to computer number B, so there is a standard communication should be followed and that is standard communication should be defined under the OSI layer, okay. And if they are following the standard communication, so it doesn't matter because they are speaking common language. It doesn't matter whether their hardware or software different, but if they have the OSI layer, okay, they are following OSI layer communication. So they would be able to communicate to each other. Okay. So whether they want to send any data, they want to do any chatting in any condition, you know, this OSI layer would work. So we will talk about this OSI layer, okay? But for a, uh, for, a, um, for a common understanding, let's understand this. This is simple term. 
that if there is any computer want to send data to any any networking device so definitely that computer would follow osi layer model communication yes all right okay so okay now we will talk about this this osi layer okay how osi layer is working so let's talk about osi layer so in osi layer how many total layers there are seven layers seven layer yeah physical seven yeah so those seven layer is what they are starting from application, application layer application layer yeah uh, data link okay. the, the presentation a uh, presentation layer then your session layer then transport layer then network layer data and then link. you know data link correct physical and then physical layer so these are the seven layer of the osi model right and this is there are a few layer which would work on the software and there are a few layer which would work on the hardware so let's talk about them that which layer is working on the software and which layer is working on the hardware so you know your application presentation and session layer the, these three layer is known as the software layer because these are working over the software so these layer is known as a software layer and then network physical uh, sorry network data link and physical these are the hardware layer because this is working on the hardware we'll discuss about that on which what hardware is working there but yes for now just and uh, this is this is this this is working as a hardware hardware layer now let's talk about you know transport layer so this is known as the heart of osi model this is nothing but this is this is known as a this is heart of osi model we can see so this is this is the this is the middle layer i mean this is the most important one which is transport one so this is most important one and that's why this is known as the heart of osi model okay so yeah let's let's talk about them that why these layer is known as a, a, a software layer and why other layer is known as a hardware layer okay so let's let's talk about them so basically if we talk about you know software layer if we talk about you know software layer so basically what happen in software layer or we can say that this is uh this is upper layer as well sometimes so this layer is known as a upper layer as well and we we say heart of osi model or we can say this is nothing but this is a core layer this is a core layer which which function as a end to end delivery and if we talk about their counting so some how how the counting happen counting happen between bottom to top i mean like in this way so number one layer would be which layer physical layer physical layer is known as a layer 1 this is known as a layer 1 then data link layer this is known as a layer 2 network layer network layer we say layer 3 transport layer this is layer 4 so counting would have, would be happen from bottom to top session layer this is layer 5 layer 
presentation layer this is layer 7 and application sorry presentation is layer 6 and the application is this is a layer number 7 so counting is happening from bottom to top physical layer is the number 1 layer so on bottom layer this this is known as a uh, you know hardware layer this is known as a hardware layer so all the hardware layer on all the hardware layer your hardware are working right on the software layer you know software are working and so yeah i was just speaking about you know these seven layers so i just got one picture from internet so you can see we have seven layers application layer presentation layer session layer transport layer network data link and physical layer so this is this is important each layer perform its own task for example you can see that application layer this is this is working as a interaction between user and application so human computer interaction layer this is known as the human computer interaction layer and this is responsible for providing an interface for the user to interact with the application services or we can say network services so let's say user is trying to send any data let's say this is a computer and through computer user is trying to send any data over the network for example user is trying to browse any any data browse anything so the application layer this application layer is able to identify the services okay it would be able to identify that using which network servicing this interaction should be happen so for example user is generating any data using browser so it would be able to identify okay using uh, you know using https http or https services should go so this is application layer and whenever you know user is generating any data so application layer would be able to identify the services this is going to identify the network services okay and mm. yeah so as i told you here application services would get identify so you know your computer is communicating with different application it's com communicating over the internet for that it is using port number 80 okay it's trying to send email which is smtp so it's able to going to use port number 25 so this is nothing but this is a logical port number for any application logical port number of application these are nothing so this the use of uh, you know what is the use of application layer to identify the services this is nothing not not doing anything but this is identifying the network services and this application layer is interface between user and user and network services this is working as a interface that's why here is mentioned human computer interaction layer where application can access the network services okay so this port number is 80 watt this is a network services which is for http protocol so here it is going to identify the application if we talk about application port so total we have 0 to 65535 these are nothing but these are the application port application port and these application port are logical okay for example we, you can you can take example example port number 80 port number 80 is for what http application port number 25 for what smtp application to transfer the mail smtp 
similar we have port number 23 this is for telnet these are nothing but this is networking application this is network application so whenever we are browsing either we are browsing on port number 80 or port number 443 okay 443 this is for https so either we are browsing on port number 80 or port number 443 so how the 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 uh, you know how the application is being identified this is identified by application layer post the application layer your data would go to physical layer sorry not physical layer but presentation layer sorry presentation layer now data would move from application layer to presentation layer and in the presentation layer presentation layer is responsible for defining a standard format of the data so this is this is defining the data standard format for example we have different standard format for the data so you can take example presentation layer does three task this presentation layer define the standard format of the data ensure that data is use uh, data is in usable format and wherever the data required encryption the data should be encrypted so you know this presentation layer perform three task what three task of this presentation layer i'm writing here over here presentation layer three task is number 1 number 1 task is it perform encoding or decoding so encoding and decoding done by this presentation layer data encoding and decoding is done by this presentation layer encoding decoding if you talk about you know we have standard format of data okay so let's say you are sending any picture over the internet so it's its presentation layer is responsible that it should convert picture into standard format whether jpg gif okay so all those png etc so all those things is done by this layer for example if we are talking about any data so you might have heard about asc ai Oh, sorry as you might heard about a sky code okay so this is nothing but this is a standard mm -hmm. text you might heard about you know uh, jpeg so this is a picture format so what it is doing basically it is doing a conversion of the data into standard format right you might heard about you know mp3 so this is what this is a data format okay so all the data encoding and decoding would be done by this presentation layer that's a one task the other task is compression and decompression so if the data required to be compressed so compression and decompression would be done by this layer data link layer this is second number task and the third number task is encryption and decryption so this is again this is done by the data link so all these three task is performed on the presentation layer post the presentation layer data would move to next layer which is uh, session layer so after presentation layer data would move to session layer so session layer is responsible to establish the session so it maintains the connection okay first it maintain the connection it establish the connection and it terminate the connection okay so for example if you are calling someone so first of all th there is a requirement to maintain uh, to initiate the session okay then maintain the session and finally when you 
disconnect a call so uh, it is necessary to uh, you know end the communication so these three three things done by the station layer what first connection communication establishment communication establishment establishment is done by this session layer second task is uh, you know maintain the session maintain the session and finally terminate the session terminate the session so these three tasks are done by the session layer post the session layer data would move to next layer and if we talk about next layer so next layer is your transport layer and this is really really important layer okay because transport layer is doing end to end communication when i say end to end communication that this layer is responsible to transport the data from one uh, place to another place so entire transport uh, transportation done by this uh, transport layer right so let's talk about transport layer what are the transport layer and what is the function so transmit data a uh, transport layer it transmit data using transmission control protocol which is tcp or udp okay so it transport the data from one uh, place to another place so end to end data delivery is done by the transport layer protocol sorry transport layer right so let's let's talk about next transport layer and it perform four function uh, sorry five functions transport layer so data would come from the application presentation and session layer and here data would remain as a data but when it goes to transport layer transport layer would add the header on that and it the data would known as a segment over here so we'll talk about them but let's understand the function of transport layer so the function of transport layer there are five function of this transport layer number 1 service identification identifying services so number 1 identifying services this is a one function the number two function of transport layer is multiplexing and demultiplexing multiplexing and demultiplexing the third function of this transport layer is segmentation fourth function of this transport layer is a sequencing uh also it does reassembling fifth function of this um layer is error correction and sixth one is a flow control okay so now let's say data is coming from all these all top layer i mean 
the data crime from application layer and then it goes to presentation presentation uh, does its task and then session session layer perform its task and now data move to transport layer so transport layer first of all transport layer would identify that we using which protocol data need to send whether it should use tcp or whether it should use udp this is nothing but this is transport protocol basically these protocol work as a transporter and this this protocol would do end to end delivery okay so for example let's say you have you have a two types of services over here i mean there could be two types of communication one is the urgent communication where the communication is important and the other types of communication is you know data is important so on both cases you know uh, the services need to be identified which is a priority services which is non priority services if the service is a bit priority having the priority so definitely it should use tcp udp okay if there is a service is not required high priority but required a security so it should use tcp so for example you can take example of voice data for example if you are calling to someone on the call cases this is using udp protocol because there is a data important but in normal cases basically if you talk about youtube etc so when you are browsing any youtube video or at that time or uh, you are browsing a normal browsing you are doing at that time it is select tcp so here it is important that which transmission protocol should be selected so it's depend on the data so there is a each kind of services let's talk about if we talk about port number 80 so if you talk about port number 80 basically this is http and this is http basically but for a transport it is using a tcp protocol when this data would go to transport layer transport layer would be using tcp protocol to transmit this data okay so it's important here to identify the services okay on using which services data is going to be transmitted okay so tcp or udp so we will discuss about both of them but just for now just understand identifying of services is done by this transport protocol so that it can select the right medium of transport that's a one thing the other thing is a multiplexing and demultiplexing for example from the top data is coming from different different ports some data is coming from port number 80 some data is coming from port number 21 some data is coming from port number 23 i mean there are different services but when it go to transport layer the transport layer combining all the services and if this is required to send data using tcp so it is going to use tcp as a transport medium or if it is required to send the data using udp so it is going to select the udp so all the ports now going to be combined over here okay so this is known as a multiplexing okay so that's a multiplexing after that this is transport also does the segmentation segmentation means if you are sending a data like hello yes how yes are you so if you are sending like data like this hello how are you right so this is this is simple data you are sending okay so your your transport layer would do the segmentation because for a transport layer maybe this is a big data so it's a, it's a doing a segmentation it's a dividing data into a small segment hello how are you these are